So as you can see, we have the head and the hands and the arm done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the torso. So the best way to do this quickly is to select a row of polygons and I'm going to hold shift and period or the greater than symbol and I'm going to expand my selection. Then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select these guys by holding the shift and control. These guys will also be part of the torso. This will be part of the torso. Again, this is just a quick UV in exercise. And shift control. Make sure that you select with the selection tool, the Q, and not the move tool, because you may move some polygons by mistake. And when you're clicking and selecting while holding shift and control, make sure that you are selecting away from these guys right here. If I had it like this, I could be selecting something in the back. By having it like this, I make sure that nothing is selected. Again, I have the torso selected. I'm going to double check real quick. All right. Let's just agree that this is the torso. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do another projection on the Z axis. So I'm going to go to the UV menu, planar projection, and I'm going to make sure that Z is selected. And as soon as I hit project, this is what I have. Visually, I can tell that my projection may be a little bit too elongated horizontally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the scale on X and I'm going to scale this down. Let me zoom in. And zoom in in the UV texture editor. Notice how when I scale it, I get really good squares right here. All right, perfect. I'm going to leave it there. Now, let me go back to perspective view. And what we're going to do here, let me go to five, is that once we duplicate this half of the body with the other half, right, we need to place seams in this torso. So I know that I'm going to weld my front right here and weld the back because I don't want to have any seams in the front of my character, even though I have the next seam. The fewer the seams, the better. So I'm going to hit Q, select in the background. I'm going to go to the back. Let me turn on the texture border edges. And I'm going to select this edge, hold Shift, double click on this edge right here. And now we're going to go to the crotch area. And I'm going to select this edge right here. And with the crotch area and the shoulder area, all I need to do is select the middle point right here. Select edge, shift, double click this edge. OK, and I'm going to do a cut. And again, here's my object. I've cut the back piece from the crotch area, the side and the top of the shoulders. And then I have the front piece from the back of the shoulder. OK, I try to hide that edge as much as I can. The side and the crotch area. Uh, one could argue that a better placement for this cut right here would be one row of edges to the back. Right? That way we don't see it from the front. But remember, the arm is going to be down, so we won't see this edge too much. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this UVs right here. Select UVs. Let me move them to one side. And I'm going to go to Polygons, Unfold. And we have two new shelves. Let me select this shell right here and move it. And if you get this effect right here, where you're trying to move one of the shelves and the other shelves seem to have some sort of attachment to these, all you have to do is number one, go to your mesh, 
right mouse button, select your mesh, and go to Edit, Delete by Type History, and then go to Modify, Freeze Transformation. If that still doesn't work, use double click on the Move Shell tool, go to the very top and click on Reset, close this tool setting, hit Q, and then again I'm going to select the Move UV Shell tool, I'm going to select the shell right here, and there you go, we fixed that issue. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my middle point in the front and the back. So this piece right here is the back. And I'm going to go to shelves, hit E for rotate. And I'm going to select this shell right here. And I'm just going to put them to the side. Go to object mode. And next, we are going to concentrate on the leg and the foot. 